Adjustment disorder and acute stress disorder are two different psychiatric diagnoses that are characterized by psychological, emotional, and behavioral disturbances that occur in response to a stressor that can be objectively identified. Psychological disturbances occur when a person's ability to adjust and cope is overwhelmed by major stressors or trauma. So in this video, we're going to discuss acute stress disorder versus adjustment disorder. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. In the weeks after a traumatic event, you may develop an anxiety disorder called acute stress disorder. ASD typically occurs within one month of a traumatic event. It lasts at least three days and can persist for up to one month. People with ASD have symptoms similar to those seen in post-traumatic stress disorder. People with acute stress disorder have been exposed to a terrifying event. They may experience it directly or indirectly. For example, direct exposure may involve experiencing a serious injury, violence, or the threat of death. Indirect exposure may involve witnessing events happening to others or learning of events that occurred to close family members or friends. People mentally re-experience the traumatic event, avoid things that remind them of it, and have increased anxiety. People with this disorder may have dissociative symptoms. For example, they may feel emotionally disconnected from themselves. They may feel that they're not real. The number of people with acute stress disorder is unknown. The likelihood of developing acute stress disorder is greater when traumatic events are severe or recurrent. Approximately 6 to 33% of people who experience a traumatic event develop ASD, according to the US Department of Veterans Affairs. This rate varies based on the nature of traumatic situation. Because there is no way to ensure that you've never experienced a traumatic situation, there is no way to prevent ASD. However, there are things that can be done to reduce your likelihood of developing ASD. Getting medical treatment within a few hours of experiencing a traumatic event may reduce the likelihood that you'll develop ASD. People who work in jobs that carry a high risk of traumatic events, such as military personnel, may benefit from preparation training and counseling to reduce their risk of developing ASD or PTSD if a traumatic event does occur. You always feel to be alone without people surrounding you or not listening to any of their talks. In some cases, this will be with you for three days, and in worst cases, it'll be there for at least a month. If you're in the first stage, taking proper help from doctors and medicines will help you to heal faster. The more you ignore, the more it'll be dangerous for your life, and this will lead to some other complications in the future. To get rid of this faster, speaking to a person who you think would be better might help. But the best thing to do is visit a doctor. Adjustment disorders are stress-related conditions. You experience more stress than would normally be expected in response to a stressful or unexpected event, and this stress causes significant problems in your relationships, at work or at school. There are things that can be done to reduce your likelihood of developing ASD. Getting medical treatment within a few hours of experiencing a traumatic event may reduce the likelihood that you'll develop ASD. People who work in jobs that carry a high risk of traumatic events, such as military personnel, may benefit from preparation training, work problems, going away to school, an illness, the death of a close family member, or any number of life changes can cause stress. Most of the time, people adjust to such changes within a few months. But if you have an adjustment disorder, you continue to have emotional or behavioral reactions that can contribute to feeling anxious or depressed. You don't have to tough it out on your own though, Treatment can be brief and it's likely to help you regain your emotional footing. A person with ADSRS has emotional and or behavioral symptoms as a reaction to a stressful event. These symptoms generally begin within three months of the event and rarely last for longer than six months after the event or situation has ended. These symptoms may cause problems with a person's ability to function. For example, the person may have trouble with sleep, work, or studying. If you receive an adjustment disorder diagnosis, you would probably benefit from treatment, you may require only short-term treatment, or may need to be treated over an extended period of time. Adjustment disorder is typically treated with therapy, medications, or a combination of both. Therapy is the primary treatment for an adjustment disorder. Your doctor or healthcare provider may recommend you see a mental health professional you may be referred to a psychologist or mental health counselor. However, if your doctor thinks that your condition requires a medication, they may refer you to a psychiatrist or psychiatric nurse practitioner. Going to therapy may enable you to return to a regular level of functioning. Therapists offer you their emotional support 
and can assist you in understanding the cause of your adjustment disorder. This may help you develop skills to cope with future stressful situations. Adjustment disorder and acute stress disorder both are documented in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual for Mental Disorders and categorized under the heading Trauma and Stressor-Related Disorders, along with Post Traumatic Stress Disorder or PTSD. Though similar in that both conditions are maladjustment to stress and trauma, the two are different mainly in the severity and nature of the stressors and psychological disturbances or symptoms as well as the time frame within which the symptoms occur. The main difference between adjustment disorder and acute stress disorder is that as an adjustment disorder, people will begin to feel stress in whatever events or activities they do. In acute stress disorder, people will feel lonely and will not be in the mood to speak with others. The symptoms of adjustment disorder are behavioral and emotions. The symptoms of acute stress disorder are the depression that will occur due to our surroundings. Adjustment disorder is a type of stress that we should not ignore when the moment we sense it. We should seek professional and medical help in this case because if it exceeds more than six months, then it will lead to chronic disorder which will be very difficult to cure. People call this an emotional disability as well. Acute stress disorder is one of the stresses that will happen when you're not feeling or mood in speak to others. It's not something worse when you're in the early stage because a light medication and treatment will help you to get rid of it. But when you avoid speaking it with others and try to run away from it, then it'll haunt you. The stressors in adjustment disorder can be anything and are commonly experienced such as divorce, death of a loved one, or loss of a job. The stressors that cause acute stress disorder are usually traumatic, as in war, rape, and violence, and natural disasters. Psychological reactions in adjustment disorder are considered less severe, diverse reactions, disproportionate to the intensity of the stressor and causing dysfunction. Psychological and physiological reactions in acute stress disorder are more severe, usually limited to fear and anxiety, recurring and easily triggered. Symptoms of adjustment disorder include impairment in social and occupational functioning as well as depressed mood and anxiety. People having adjustment disorders will start to get stressed in whatever activities or events that they do in their life. In acute stress disorder, people will feel lonely and avoid communicating with others. The symptoms that will help you to find adjustment disorders are behavior and maladaptive emotions. On the other hand, the symptoms that will help you to find acute stress disorder are depression that happens due to your surroundings. Some of the stress types of adjustment disorder are divorce or not having a job. But for acute stress disorder is trauma and natural disasters. The treatment that you can do for adjustment disorder is by following either psychotherapy or taking medications. But in acute stress disorder, you have to take both. Adjustment disorder can be found commonly in children and teenage people. But acute stress disorder can be found commonly in women. Both these are very serious issues and we should not ignore them when the moment we sense the symptoms. If you're not comfortable discussing it with the doctor in the first place, then we should speak with our dear ones. Again, if we're afraid of what they might think, then we should never hesitate to meet a doctor. Because these are the people who won't judge us by hearing our side of the story. They have lots of experience, so they will give you the right advice on how to deal with it. Once you finish all these on your early stage itself, then you can avoid the long-term discrepancies and can lead a happy life. There are no guaranteed ways to prevent adjustment disorders, but developing healthy coping skills and learning to be resilient may help you during times of high stress. If you know that a stressful situation is coming up, such as a move or retirement, call on your inner strength, increasing your healthy habits, and rally your social support in advance. Remind yourself that this is usually time-limited and that you can get through it. Also, consider checking in with your doctor or mental health professional to review healthy ways to manage your stress. Let us know your opinion in the comment section down below. This is all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please click on the next video clip to watch for more health info. Thank you very much.